Toxic waste is part of everyday life. It's the byproduct of the manufacture and packaging of ordinary household items. Mercury, cadmium, lead, arsenic, cyanide and acids. Chemicals which attack the heart and chemicals which damage the liver. Waste which poisons the nervous system and rubbish which injures the lungs. It's said that the waste created by throwing away just three watch batteries could kill a child. More of these chemicals are produced and disposed of in the West Midlands than in any other part of the country. Four years ago, ECO took a critical look at how the region was coping with the problem. It came up with some disturbing findings. Over the road there was a properly licensed site which began to be used for the disposal of toxic wastes. It was the first toxic site that I'd ever visited and I was horrified by the uh, appearance of the site which contained pools of stinking water, black and grey and uh, yellowish and floating in amongst these uh, ponds were drums of material uh, which it wasn't clear what they were and protruding from the ground were plastic and metal drums which again uh, it wasn't clear what they contained and when I suggested that we cut open one of these polythene uh, containers to see whether it contained anything that might be unpleasant the people who were owning the site retreated very quickly and advised us strongly that under no circumstances should we interfere with any of the containers that were here on the site and I thought that was really quite horrific. Generally, I think that many authorities struggle with, with little or no resources to do the job properly. Um, we've been lucky here, as I said, we, we've had a problem, we've had to approach it. Um, in the early days, I did have it put to me that we only had problems here because we weren't looking for them. Um, it is one of those areas where the more you look, the more you find.